Card and welcome to my channel. This is my first ever YouTube video, so get, feel free to give me feedback in the comment below. This channel is going to be covering topics of regarding self-publishing. I recently published a romance novel titled Forgetting Aiden on Amazon, so You'll hear a little bit about my journey in other videos about going through the self-publishing process and marketing and things of that nature. Also, in the future, I might do topics around traditional publishing and going about getting a traditional um, literary agent. So that was something that, at the beginning, I was a little bit interested in, so I did an extensive research on that and attended no numerous amount of conferences uh, talking to different agents. So I'll give you some tips on that as well a little bit later if you're interested. So feel free to let me know down below if there's other topics that you would like covered. Uh, I hope to, you know, continue doing more videos around self-publishing and being an indie author. And then who knows, maybe I'll continue to do other videos on lifestyle and things of that nature um, as well. And you guys can get to know me a little bit more in the process. So you all clicked on this link because you want to know the top 10 tips to having a great and successful book launch party. I have them written down below. I'm gonna to try to keep track of the numbers because I tend to go out of order. But let's get to it. The first tip I have is to have a hashtag for your event. I kept mine simple. I kept it the name of the book, Forgetting Aiden. And that's just so, um, in terms of promotion on social media, it's just easy for people to kind of click on one of your friend's photos and have all the different photos from the event pop up. And it's just a great way to get the word out. I actually included it in different ways throughout the event. I had, um, and this included some of my other tips, so I'll get into them later, but I don't want to forget it. But I had a hashtag uh, little wooden sign that people could hold. So I integrated it there. I believe this cake topper I had, spoiler alert, had hashtag forgetting Aiden on it as well. So use a hashtag, make sure other people are using it. It's a great way to get the word out. Awesome. <music> Tip number two would be to have a theme. So your theme is obviously your book, but that theme could also just have um, like a certain vibe to it, right? So mine's a Hollywood romance, so mine included some Hollywood aspects in there. They're very subtle. It doesn't need to be over the top and like beat you in the head with like the theme. It could just be like stars that um, I had decorative stars um, in a certain area. And I'll get to that in another tip. But I had stars to, you know, Hollywood stars. And then I had a little Hollywood sign that people would hold up and uh, have take pictures with it. So just very minimalistic things to get the, the vibe out there of your theme. And then I also had a color theme. So my color theme was like a light pastel pink because I figured it really complemented the book. So it was very much so like white and pink. So I integrate that into my dessert table and I had like macaroons or like a light pink, light pink napkins, light pink cake, um, cake stands. So I just kind of use that throughout. So this is a promotional card. Um, I have my book cover up front. I have my book description and then about me as well as my Instagram account. So essentially this was a great takeaway for people who are coming that just kind of want to grab this and like put it in their pocketbook and essentially they can pass it along to another friend. Additionally, this is great just to buy in bulk. So I use this later on with marketing purposes, um, which I'll get into in another video, but this is just a great card. It's really easy. It's like a business card you hand it out. Um, I just had them on a little display table, like in a spiral motion. So kind of cool for photography. And it's something that I could reuse, and I really highly re recommend this. I think you always want to carry this on you if you ever meet someone and you're like, hey, take, take a car, hear about my book, right? <laughs> anyway, got that banner, and I used it for the event. It was just a great way to have people who would, like, stand by it, make poses with it. I stood with them by it. Um, 
it was just really, really fun uh, to use, and I can reuse this at like other events. So essentially, I can go to conferences and like promote this book, and then people will see that banner and be like, that's so cool, like let me go over there, that seems like a cover that I'd be interested in. So this is like something I'm going to use all the time, so I'm definitely getting the best bang for my buck um, having it at my event, because I'll also use it again for marketing. So my next tip would be to have a fun photography like like space. So in my case, it was a backdrop with pink wallpaper that I got from Amazon, gold like stars, which I mentioned to go with the Hollywood theme. Like then I had props, so that's where the Hollywood sign came into play. Um, and then this hashtag for getting Aiden Wooden sign that I had made on Etsy, and I like like glittered it myself from like an Amazon spray paint or not Amazon AC Moore spray paint and all these like you know um people just like jumped in because they were like oh like let's like take photos together it was just a great photo op for them uh to like publish to their own like Instagram stories like boomerangs we actually had these balloons on the sides but it was so smart my sister had these like they just blew up balloons without like the ties and no helium. So people were literally like grabbing the balloons and like throwing them up and it was so fun. <laughs> and everyone one wanted a boomerang of that and it was just so fun to kind of have that be a, a great icebreaker for all my guests that, you know, some of them don't know each other. So it's a great way to be like, hey, jump in this photo with me and just having a fun time. Like, this is self-explanatory but I'm gonna say it anyway and the reason why I say to have fun is because us at least myself I won't speak for everyone, everyone else but I tend to get so um, goal-oriented that I'm like okay gotta publish this book gotta get reviews gotta get the word out like all this stuff and I was having this like party and I was you know using my marketing budget for this party that I planned for and I was like just not enjoying the moment and my husband actually had to be like hey like this is a very big accomplishment for you this party yes is a marketing purpose but like enjoy it too like this is part of the journey and like enjoy the journey that you're on and you should be happy and proud of yourself so at this point I just want to say congratulations if you're watching this video and you're you've published your book or are about to publish your book and are planning a party and you do like you did an amazing job just getting to this point and you deserve to enjoy it and be happy and have fun. So, Next tip would be to, um, before the event, to photograph every little detail, like videograph like the, um, or film the entire event if possible uh, and just also have someone who's like going around during the event as well taking photographs and videos. So this is important because you want to have content for your social media account that you're building. You want to be able to reuse it for other promotional um, purposes. You don't want it just to be like a static event that like that budget that you have is like one time budget, right? Like you want this money to keep like playing out, right? I mean, we're on a budget. We're trying to like stretch our dollar here, right? Um, okay, so another one is don't get carried away. Like the biggest focal point should be this guy, your book. So my point being is I didn't go out there and buy like, I don't know, like inflatable palm trees or something like that. Like, yes, that would have been like fun and like different and whatever, but that's like kind of distracting from like this guy over here. Like this is what's important, your book. Make your book the most like decorative piece in the room. Like. I had like copies of this book like uh, stacked with like candles on top making it really pretty. I had um, like different tables and I, I constantly refer back to this cover and whatever you know uh, whatever promo I had like the banner. I also had um, cupcakes I ha with like this guy on top. Yeah I had edible cupcake toppers. I didn't even know that was a thing and then I saw someone else doing it and I was like that's happening. So I would say Definitely use this um, cover in a lot of ways, use the title in a lot of ways. So I had a hashtag for getting Aiden cake topper. Um, that was important. I had a little banner on the on the actual like des um, dessert table. So it, it almost looks like the, a divorce party, my friends were saying, because they're like, hashtag for getting Aiden. Anyway, it was just like a fun way to like 
I literally have this name slash cover everywhere. I don't want people taking photos and not have it seen because, you know, that's just a lost, like, marketing opportunity, right? So this is your, this is your wow factor. Um, to have prizes. So I say this because I don't know if it's necessary. It's really an optional one, I would say, but... I wanted it because I was nervous, it was my first book event, I didn't know if people would find it boring, would like, like, I, I just was really nervous. So I was like, this is a great incentive to have people come and want to come and like enjoy the process. Like, I didn't know how well the backdrop was going to work out, so I had prizes. So um, essentially what I did uh, is I had a few ways to give out the prizes. So everyone that attended got a raffle ticket uh, for this for different prizes, which were like, I think Sephora makeup, I had um, a ton of points to Sephora over the years of like buying all their makeup, and I like used that for the gifts, so I didn't spend too much money there. And then the other things I raffled off were th these books, right? This is a prize. So this I raffled off using like a questionnaire of, oh, how many pages do you think are in this book? So whoever got the, you know, closest answer. Then I had uh, how long did it take me to write this book as a question. So that's just examples. And then going back to the raffle prize, um, that was based on actually like you get a raffle ticket if you bring a friend, like an extra raffle ticket. You get an extra raffle ticket if you um, purchase like the book like, you know, ahead of the party. You get an extra raffle ticket if you write a review and like, you know, all these things that essentially help us in the authors in the end in terms of like sales and placement, especially on Amazon, like that's kind of the incentive I was pushing for. But obviously if someone like didn't want to do those things, like they just get a freaking raffle ticket for coming. Like, thank you. Like, that's amazing that you just want to support me. So I think the raffle was super fun. Everyone had a great time. I had a friend who almost cried because she like won a prize and she never wins prizes. So yeah, I think it was just a wonderful, special way to give back to my guests at the end of the day. Um, and then also to like, you know, again, like give some guests who hadn't bought the book, like an opportunity to win copies of this book. Last tip actually would be to create a Facebook event. Like this depends, like if your friends don't use Facebook like at all, like I, my friends don't use Facebook at all, but they use it for events, like they'll check their events. And my suggestion, suggestion would be use that Facebook event to kind of like get people excited ahead of the event, like the call to action for like the, like, you know, the prizes, um, you know, having them the opportunity, giving them the opportunity to invite other people through the Facebook like event, like spreading the word about the event. That's it. So those are all my tips. I hope there's 10. If not, maybe there's 11 and then you get a bonus one. If there's just 10, thank you so much. Let me know your feedback if you want to like hear any other advice that I might have. And yeah, let's take it from there. I'm excited. I think this is going to be a good thing for all of us. So thank you so much for watching. Congrats again and good luck on your journey. Uh, I think we all need a little bit of luck in this industry.